hi welcome hearty welcome to you so in this video we will go through in circle and in radius and how to find out the value of in radius we in in terms of in 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 terms of uh, sine angles are also with respect to the side and also so we have here delta equal to rs r equal to s minus a into tan a by 2 so how to find out the that we will be looking into we know that capital r is nothing but the circum radius and small r is the in radius okay so we have to first of all prove one after the other so first let's look at what is in circle how to get the in circle to get the in circle once you have a triangle take each of the vertex and draw angular bisectors from them the point of concurrency of the angular bisectors is, is nothing but the in center and this circ in, in center of the circle in circle and this in circle will touch the all the three sides of the triangle so the point where it touches it makes a right angle and the radius from center to the point where it touches the triangle is nothing but the in radius r you can see here r and this center point is i in center okay now let's repeat that again in circle in circle is obtained by point of concurrency of angular bisectors internal angular bisectors because see here this angle is internal angle okay we do external angle once we go to x circle we'll discuss that in the coming videos so in circle is inscribed in the triangle and the radius is called as in radius okay right so remember point of concurrency of perpendicular bisectors is circum circle point of concurrency of angular bisectors is in circle that should be fine let's go ahead with the first proof we have to prove delta equal to r into s so let's go ahead with that now i have delta is nothing but area of the triangle abc delta is area of triangle abc but if you look at the area of triangle abc we are interested now with respect to r so if you take this triangle bic similarly you take the triangle bia r a i c there are three triangles which will add up to triangle abc so that's nothing but equal to area of triangle bic plus area of triangle cia plus area of triangle c a i b that's nothing but equal to area of triangle abc what we have done there are three circles three triangles you can see b i c c i a a i b all these three add up to area area of triangle abc now this is very simple area of triangle bic is half base into height half what is bc that's nothing but half bc into id id plus area of triangle cia is again half into ca into ie plus area of triangle aib is half into ab that is base into height that is nothing but equal to if we know already that id equal to ie equal to if is equal to in radius so i can directly go ahead and substitute that also we know bc equal to a so i can say half a into r plus half b into r plus half c into r i can take r by 2 common if i take r by 2 common i will have a plus b plus c but a plus b plus c is nothing but equal to perimeter of this triangle right that's nothing but equal to 2s so if 
two two cancels out you will have delta equal to rs that's how we can prove delta equal to rs let me repeat that again okay right now what we have seen we have seen what is the definition of in circle and how to get the in circle that we are done with it now we have to prove delta equal to rs to prove delta equal to rs what you can see here is triangle abc can be divided into three triangles bic aic aib all those three make up to triangle abc and finding out this triangle's area is very simple we are also interested with respect to r so you can see that wherever it's uh, touching the circle is touching the side it's perpendicular that means half base into height half base into height half base into height in first case base is a second case base is b third case base is c and all the heights are nothing but equal to radius when you added them up you will get half into r into a plus b plus c but a plus b plus c is nothing but equal to 2s because we know s semi perimeter is nothing but half of the perimeter that is nothing but half of a plus b plus c now we are okay with that perfect so let's go to the next one then one minute i'll just go to the next one okay the next one we have to prove r equal to s minus a tan a by 2 s minus b tan b by 2 s minus c tan c by 2 okay so we know tan a by 2 because i know angle tan a by 2 i should be able to find out let's let's look at this interesting so r equal to i have to prove s minus a tan a by 2 let's look at tan a by 2 from here if i look from here tan a by 2 this looks like this I have okay something like this this is a f and this is i and from I have this angle is nothing but equal to a by 2 so tan a by 2 is nothing but equal to r by a f so we see that tan of a by 2 is nothing but equal to opposite by hypotenuse that's nothing but r by a f so we will say that tan a by 2 equal to r by a f now there is no problem other than i have to prove that a f equal to s minus a then i am done with this because that's what i have to prove I have to prove R equal to S minus A into tan A by 2. If I looked at the diagram, I have A by 2 angle. So, immediately I went and looked at what is tan A by 2. Tan A by 2 is nothing but opposite by adjacent side. That's nothing but R by A F. But I have to prove that A F equal to S minus A. For that, we will do little bit of work. What we will do is, we will see what is perimeter of this. Perimeter of this triangle A B C. perimeter is nothing but equal to 2s is nothing but equal to a plus b plus c okay now i will write it as a is nothing but bc and uh, small b is nothing but equal to ac plus cap small c this is small c always is nothing but equal to ab now again you can see that BC is nothing but BD plus DC BD plus DC plus again AC is nothing but AE plus EC plus again AB is nothing but equal to AF plus FB if you remember if from an external point if you are drawing a tangent then both the tangents are equal that means AF is equal to AE so AE is equal to AF similarly let me put it in different color BD is equal to BF similarly I have another one DC is equal to EC let me repeat that again this is what we have now A plus B plus C now we know that if from an external point I am drawing a tangent to the circle then the length of both the tangents are equal. It's very simple congruency. If you look at this, these are right hand RHS 
congruency there are two right ang right triangles with uh, with altitude equal to r i can say one of the sides is equal to r and there is 90 degrees angle because it's a right angle and also you have hypotenuse which is nothing but equal to common for both of them so both bf is equal to bd similarly cd is ce ae equal to af now we are interested in af right so what i will do ae equal to af it's nothing but these two are equal so i will write it as 2af this is nothing but equal to i will write it as ae plus af is 2af plus now we are interested in keeping it in one value which we know i see bd so if i can equate bd to if i can equate bd to bf and also dc to ec i can say that this is nothing but equal to 2a are you with me bd plus bf i can say that's nothing but equal to 2 of bd because bd is equal to bf we know that similarly dc is equal to ce so i can write it as 2 dc now why i am doing that i am doing that because i want to convert it to one of the sides of the triangle now this is nothing but equal to 2 af plus 2 into bd plus dc that's nothing but 2 af plus bd plus dc is 2 bc that's nothing but equal to 2 s is equal to 2 af plus 2 into a so if you divide by 2 and subtract you will get af is equal to s minus a so if i directly go ahead here and say r equal to af into tan of a by 2 but we know af is nothing but equal to s minus of a that's how we got s minus a into tan a by 2 similarly if you take tan b by 2 you can prove that r equal to s minus b into tan b by 2 let me just spend couple of minutes on this how we got af equal to s minus a how we have got the second one r equal to s minus a tan b a by 2 i have seen the triangle there is tan a by 2 so i just immediately went for tan a by 2 tan a by 2 is opposite by adjacent opposite is r adjacent is af now i have to prove af equal to s minus a for that the only option i have is i know that these sides s is nothing but related to perimeter so i went to the perimeter and checked what is 2s 2s equal to a plus b plus c now i have to divide ab into af and fb then only i can find out what is the value of af so what i have done i have applied one particular rule or basically the condition what we know is if a tangent is drawn from an external point to a circle then both those tangents are equal by rhs congruency so we know that here af equal to ae bf equal to bd cd equal to ce and if you add all these you will get your perimeter nothing but equal to a plus b plus c just imagine like this we are interested in af and ae just keep them other than that just bring this bf on bd and ce on ed you will see that it's nothing but equal to 2bd plus 2cd that's nothing but 2a so 2s equal to 2af plus 2a which will give you af equal to s minus a which i can straight forward go there and say r equal to s minus a into tan a by 2 so we'll continue this in the next session in the next video we will go through the remaining two proofs okay catch you in the next session thanks bye for now